But yeah, we'll keep it pushing next. Uh, James Kraus versus Claudio Silva. Um, Kraus was a minus 135 favorite. Uh, Silva plus 115 underdog. So, you know, Vegas thought it would be close. Um, some, and, some welterweights here. Yeah, welterweight at 170. And, I mean, it really wasn't as close as Vegas might have had you seen. Um, but Kraus does win as the favorite. Um I, you know, it's I, I gave all three rounds to Kraus, bro. Did you give? I mean, did you um, get Sylvia, Sylvia winning anything? Yeah, I actually gave the third to Silva, I, but I also noted it was too little, too late in the entirety of the fight. It was almost like Kraus was sacrificing that round to just be safe and not give him any yeah. takedowns. Yeah, we see no that submissions. A lot. That's very and common. well, James Kraus, uh, he as far as like octagon appearances recently. He's coached almost three times more often than he's fought as far as, like, coming up to the UFC octagon. So he is much more active as a coach than he is as a fighter. That's interesting. That's interesting. And I think it kind of was on display last night because, like, he just fought a super smart fight. Like, the game yeah. plan was yeah. fantastic. And it was yeah. just well, well strung out throughout the entirety of the fight. Like, never getting close, never yeah. grapple. Just yep, keep yep. your distance. Keep just the pop distance. the jab. And yep. just control, 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 control. It was very oh, fundamentals, like you said. Yeah, and, and 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 we talk about all the time how it's easier said than done to keep the distance. Every every fighter with a reach ever always just says keep the distance. But uh, ooh, I don't know, Jay. We're gonna get there. We are gonna get there, sir. Keep watching. Oh keep yeah, watching. we're yeah, coming we're up on that. There. That's interesting to talk about. We're coming sure. up on that. But yeah, I mean, Kraus, like you said, ability to keep the distance, technical, fundamental, sound. I think sound would be a good way to describe his performance. Um, yeah, he, he well-rounded. He missed decision. I'm pretty th sure it's 30-27 across the board. Um, yep. And I, I have know. no argument with that. That's fine. Like, if you give the third round to Kraus, totally fine with that. I just thought Silva was just a little more active. And if, as far as damage, like Kraus really didn't do anything in the third round for the most part, yeah. other than be like defensively smart, which yeah. I'm not going to discredit that, but it's also like, if I'm going to say who wins the round, like I think Silva might have won the round. And, and, yeah, and I'm not mad at that either, for sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, welterweight, welterweight's interesting. The, Kraus, it's, it's weird with guys, right, that are super fundamentally sound, but don't look like athletically freakish. It's, it's well, like, how do you project that? Like, and he's old, and he yeah. coaches so often. Like, yeah. he's just on his way out. You exactly. know what I mean? It, it, even though he – that's like, – thank you. I, I, even though he looked really well and performed well, it's hard for me to, like, project something really dope moving forward. You know what I mean? That's just not where he's at. Exactly. Yeah, it's like it's like Ed Herman, the fight we watched, him, which is still a bullshit victory. <laughs> and it's still a bullshit nut kick. Ed Herman, you suck. Uh it's just like these these older guys like they realize like it's not a title shot anymore that's left in them. They're just trying to get these fights and like prove that they still have these skills, get some checks while they're at it. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man, for sure.